Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's very late. It's very late. But for anyone who has lost somebody so dear to them, you will know and you will be right there with me when I say that the night times seem to be the times when you lose your strength. You seem to think more. You seem to you seem to think back on every single memory. You seem to think back on absolutely everything. You really do. And of course I'm just guessing for other people, but May of this year I lost my my nan. You know, I always thought that my nan would live forever. I really did. I always thought my nan would live forever. And you know, that makes me sound absolutely ridiculous, doesn't it? But I genuinely always thought that she would be there. My nan to me, in a way, was more than a grandmother to me. She was a best friend. She was a guider. She helped me see the right road in life. As well as my mum, I feel blessed in this life because it was almost like having and growing up with two mums. I have an incredible bond with my mum and my nan. And losing one of them feels like... I mean, we are in October. It is the 18th of October. And every day I look at a picture of my nan and I pray to the Lord above, and I ask that she's okay, and I ask that she's with him in Jesus. My nan had Alzheimer's, and she went through a particularly difficult time in her last, I would say, year to 18 months of her life, but she was still strong. For example, in the last weeks of her life, she's seen the hairdresser every uh, every Tuesday, I believe. Um, yes, it was every Tuesday. Um, she always had lovely nails. She always had lovely clothes. She always was my glamorous little nan. And um, I think my nan wasn't no, more, no taller than about four, maybe four and a half foot. Um, and now we find ourselves approaching the holiday season, the Christmas season, the festive period. And I love Christmas. I love Christmas. But Nan always in our family seemed to take centre stage. Always, even with her illness. She may well have been 95, but she was still. She was a matriarch of our family. She really was. She really was. Um, and at Christmas, when I would plan, and I and I plan gifts exactly what I'm doing now. I start very early, earlier than it's the 18th of October, but I've been doing it for a while now. And I plan the gifts, and I plan everything um, alongside my mum. Uh, my mum is a best friend to me, and we're so so very close. It's her mum, so we're both in this, we're both there, right there together. And my mum is doing incredibly well. But me, I just feel like I've frozen. And do you know what? I feel like this still is all a dream. And it still feels like that I'm going to see her again. And it still feels like I'm going to go back to how things used to be. I wish with all my heart and soul that I could. I really do. Um, I used to stay with my nan growing up and for many, many years. And the memories I have are precious and treasured as gold more. And I think every day what she was, what she would say and when I go into a situation and what she would suggest me do, um, and even now, with getting upset, she would, she would be a little bit firmer on me, and she would say that I've got to have my own life, 
and that man is not your whole life and that you've got to go on and lead your own life and I'll always be with you. But when you love somebody so much and they're not there anymore, it's not easy. It's something I never expect in my life. And then just throw Christmas in the mix and organise Christmas without that person being there. Every Christmas Eve, I would spend with my nan. Me and my eldest brother would be with my nan. This year, that's not going to happen. This year, I left with memories and pictures in the hope in the Lord above that she is looking down on me. I find it so difficult. If the Lord have allowed me, I would have held her a lifetime. But that wasn't the case. I miss her so much. I really do. Right now, I'm in a low place. I'm in a juice to get me out of it. My mum does. But Take a piece of the perfect puzzle you've always had for your life and you're left with still a broken piece. That's exactly what I feel like. Christmas is such a special time of tradition and memories of Christmases long ago. And it will be magical and it will be precious and it will be wonderful. It will be different. And do you know, when my nan died, and I was there when she took her last breath, with my mum and my eldest brother, my twin brother, do you know what? It's almost like that part of me left. It's almost like that part of me died. I've not been the same since. I struggle so much without her being here. As I look away, I look to an amazing, glamorous picture of my nan. This is my lovely nan. My amazing, precious, beautiful, cherished nan. You may think why I'm doing this on my channel. Well, my channel is a tall a platform for me to get through many things in life which I've turned to. I've not been blessed with many friends who have stood by my side throughout difficult times. I've suffered with awful things and health problems and operations, and even work colleagues who I thought that would be strong friends of mine have left and disappeared. Family is always constant. My man, my mum and my dad are the three people I've always been able to count on in my life and have always and always will be there for me. I have amazing brothers and nieces and nephews. Beautiful little characters. And I love them all so much. Christmas, a special time of tradition, Christmas is long ago, and memories. They're all right here, and they'll always be right here. But now I'm just having a difficult time. How on earth do I plan Christmas when I haven't got my nan anymore? I know I can, and I know it probably will, but looking at it, it's scary. And it brightens the life out of me that I've got to do the rest of this life without her here. I didn't have my mum to know what I'm going to do. I feel so low. Low and broken. I've got to learn something from my nan. No matter what situation happened, she always strong back, willpower. She used to be up literally at the break of 
As soon as that sun would have a glimmer up, she'd be up. Five could be earlier. It would be makeup on, glamorous hair. My nan would be literally the film star when she walked into a room. Nan was there. It was wow, stunning. To walk alongside my nan. I was honoured and privileged every single step and every single minute. Just as I am with my mum to this day, every single day I get to be with her is a privilege and an honour. And my nan, I just wish I could have had so much more time with her. I know that's greedy. I know that's greedy and I'm selfish. And with her illness, I know that my nan had to take that next step in her life. I know she did for her, not for me. But what do I do? I wanted to see, I wanted my man to see me married with a beautiful wife and beautiful children, a large family. I've always said four or five. I'd love to see him in a beautiful big house and invite my man over. Yes, I just forgot how old my man was getting. But age means nothing. My man was a testament to that. At whatever age, it didn't set her back. She dressed how she wanted to, she acted how she wanted to, she said what she wanted to do. She didn't matter just because of a number. She's an inspiration. It's new ways. I wish she was still here. I truly do. With all my heart, I wish she was still here. On that note, I'm going to go and have a word with myself, um, and I'll be seeing you real soon on the channel. Thanks very much for being here, thanks for sharing this with me, and until next time, I'll see you then. Bye now.